Todd, this is going to have to be one of the most, you know, valuable products on the market, I think. You know, because everyone has these scratches on their cars. Now, mate, this pad that I'm using right now, it's an abrasive pad, 3,000 grid, is that correct? It's a 3,000 grid. It's a patented abrasive technology that, that 3M has, and it does a fantastic job of refining scratches and that's really what we're doing you've got a scratch in the clear coat yeah we're refining that down to the point that we can polish it out and you don't see it anymore okay so this pad here it's only 3m that has it yes wow wow 3000 that's amazing because you know in the building trade i'm used to 80 or you know 120 or 220 but 3000 it's amazing so we can see it's got a little powdery so if i wipe that off wow it's, it's taken the scratches away, and now it's just a dull surface. Right, and if, if we were still seeing that big scratch, yep. we would want to sand a little bit more. Just but keep it's going good until to keep, you get rid of it. And check as you go. Mm -hmm. is once you get the scratch out, you don't want to sand any more than that on your clear coat. You want to move on to polishing. Okay, so that's, that's like the first step. The next step, I believe, is this pad? Yep, purple okay. pad with the rubbing compound packet. Okay. So a purple pad. and is a coarser pad for rubbing compound to get that haze off of there, those sand scratches right. we left behind. And now you can follow that as a very last step with a finer polish. Which and is a the soft, black one? Yep, and a okay. softer black pad. Cool. So softer, finer abrasive as you go, yeah. sequence. And after we finish this, would we put a wax on to protect it? Sure. Okay, yeah. okay, cool. All right, well, let's uh, give it a shot. Again, just applying a little bit on there, and I'm swirling it around a little bit so we don't squirt it everywhere. Okay, here we go. Now, if this dries, is it advisable to put a little bit of water on? If it's dry, water will definitely help. Okay, so just keep it a little moist. Mm -hmm. Now, I know with a lot of building projects that people often make the mistake where they just constantly got it in one area and they take it away and what do they got? A big divot. Same with the car, right? Same thing, yeah. Okay. All right. Jeez, mate, look at that. That's just made a, a difference and we haven't even got to the other step. So there was those scratches. Look at that. That's amazing. That is really cool. You know, and on your lighter colors, you're probably done. You're right up to that factory finish here. Now, if this were a black car, we might see a little remaining light haze yeah. from this step with the purple okay. pad. And then we'd go we'd on to follow that, other that step. with the, the black pad and the finer polish gotcha. as needed. Because I've already done this on uh, the black car that I have, and man, it was amazing. There was a few deeper scratches, but I just went a little bit deeper with that Trizac, the 3000, and I was able to get it. Yeah, it's a great, so, great system. Yeah. Easy to use.